Yes, hello everyone. Uh, this is Mam Camille, your science teacher for this week's lesson, which is about the factors affecting potential and kinetic energy. So we are on the week three of our science eight lesson. So let's proceed. Our objective is to learn the different factors that affects potential and kinetic energy. So, we're going to focus on these two types of energy, the potential and kinetic energy, and what are the different factors that affects these two types of energy. Okay, so before we proceed, may I know, uh, what is your idea when we say energy? Yes, from the word energy, ano yung inyong idea about that? Could you please think of those words? Ano kayo pwede natin i-relate kapag sinabi natin energy? Yes? Okay, when we say energy, it is defined as the ability to do work. Again, it is defined as the ability to do work. Is work and energy related to each other? Do you have uh, an idea what work is and what is energy? Sabi kanina, energy is the ability to do work. Uh, ang work kaya at ang energy are related sa isa't isa? Is it a yes or a no? Okay, the answer for this one is, of course, yes. Work and energy are always related to each other. Okay, so remember that work is a method of transferring energy. Kapag nagkakaroon ng transfer of energy sa isang bagay, papunta sa isang bagay, meaning there is work on it. So, nagkakaroon ng work kapag nagkakaroon ng transfer of energy. Okay, so could you please look at this picture? So, you have there yung hand na may hawak na bola. And kung mapapansin nyo, para magkakaroon siya ng motion na itutulak niya yung bola. Ano? And then, on the other end, meron tayo dong empty bottle. So, kung mapapansin nyo dun sa picture, kitang kita na yung bola ay itutulak nung hand papunta sa bottle at ano kaya yung possible na mangyari? So, may ni uh, possible na as the ball go along with uh, to the bottle, possible na mahulog siya or possible naman na kapag yung bola ay itinulak ng kamay, ang direction niya syempre papunta sa bottle, possible na matumba, mahulog yung bottle. Ano? So, may ni magkakaroon din ng motion yung bottle. Okay, so, let's uh, analyze Ano kayang meron dito sa example na iyon? So, the force exerted on the ball changed the ball's motion. Again, yung force down na exert na len ng ating kamay, nung kamay, sa bola, yun ang reason kung bakit nag-iba yung motion ng bola. So, something was transferred to the ball, causing it to move continuously. So, meron daw something na inilipat doon sa bola, kaya siya ay patuloy ang paggalaw. And that something is called energy. So, meaning, yung energy daw na meron doon sa kama, itinransfer kay bola, kaya yun ang reason kung bakit siya ay nag-move continuously papunta sa bottle. Ano? So, the energy became the energy of the motion of the ball. So, let us now define first kinetic energy. So, the two types of energy that we're going to tackle for this uh, topic is the kinetic and the potential energy. So, let's focus first on kinetic energy. That is the energy of a moving object. Remember of those words, moving object. It is called the energy of motion or kinetic energy. Kinetic energy or energy of motion is just the same. The simpler uh, acronym for that is KE, kinetic energy. The word kinetic comes from the Greek word kinetico, kinetikos, which means moving. Again, that is a Greek word. Kinetic energy quantifies the amount of work the object can do because of its motion. Okay, so uh, we have here the formula in getting the kinetic energy of a body or a of an object. KE is equal to 1 half mv squared wherein m stands for mass, v stands for velocity. So, yung velocity is kailangan nyo muna i-multiply to itself bago i-multiply kay mass, then saka siya i-divide sa 2 or ita times sa 0 0.5 kasi 0 0.5 is equivalent to 1 half. So, the unit for Ke or kinetic energy is newton meter or joules or just a capital letter J. 
Okay, let's have the potential energy. It is uh, when an object is lifted from the ground, the work done is against the force of gravity. An object gains energy when raised from the ground and loses energy when made to fall. So, the energy gained or lost by the object is called gravitational potential energy or simply potential energy or PE in short. Again, that is the energy gained or lost by the object. Potential energy is present when the work is waiting to be done or when there is a potential for work to be performed. And have potential energy. So meaning potential energy is the energy at rest. And kapag sinabi natin kinetic energy, that is the energy in motion. Okay, so the formula for potential energy is MGH. Just multiplied the value of the mass, the acceleration due to gravity, and the height. Again, iba ang kay kinetic energy at iba ang kay potential energy. So, we're in M stands for mass. G is for the acceleration due to gravity with a constant value of 9.8 meter per second squared. Again, that is constant. Ibig sabihin, hindi siya nagbabago. Yun lagi ang value ni G. Then, height, which is the H. Multiply lang sila lahat. Okay, so let's have the example. So, on your module, meron siyang example na nakalagay. Try to get a piece of rubber bond. It has potential energy relative to its position when placed in your hands. For example, I have here this one. I don't have rubber bands, so I have here uh, this kind of garter. So, it has the gravitational potential energy. If you zing the rubber band from your finger, then the potential energy has been transformed into kinetic energy. So, for example, this garter, it has the potential energy just like the rubber band. When you stretch this one, ayan, of course, Again, nagkakaroon na siya ng kinetic energy because that is in motion, of course. So, when it was stretched waiting for you to release, it has potential energy again. Again, nakapotential energy na rin siya. It was stationary but work was done on it to move it to its present position. So, ang nakalagay dito, more work means more energy is provided to and stored by the rubber band when it was stretched further. When you release the rubber band, it has more energy to move. More energy means more more work can be done by the rubber band. So, of course, uh, kapag marami ang nakastore na energy or marami yung kanyang potential energy, pag nirelease siya, mas malayo ang mararating, for example, ni rubber band. So, meaning, from potential energy to kinetic energy. Again, potential energy is the energy at rest while the kinetic energy is the energy in motion. Okay. So, ayan, for moving objects, you can calculate kinetic energy using the formula. Uh, K is equal to 1 half mv squared. So, ganun sabi ko kanina, magkaiba ang formula ni kinetic energy at ni potential energy. I hope you got it, ha? Sana nag-gets yun. Okay. So, let's proceed with the different learning task on your module. So, on the learning task number one, nakalagay, then analyze the picture below. Determine if it shows potential or kinetic energy. Write your answer in your notebook. So, kailangan nyo lamang i-analyze isa-isa yung mga picture na nakalagay sa module ninyo for learning task number one. And you're going to uh, determine if it shows potential or kinetic energy. So, that is number one, pushing the hammer into the nail. Number two, a boy walking in the street. Is that potential or kinetic energy? Just write it on your piece of paper. Then, the man holds the bow and arrow. Number four, the arrow approaching the dartboard. Number five, the flower vase on top of the table. Is that potential or kinetic energy? Okay, for learning task number two, compare picture A and picture B below. Answer the guide question, then write your answer on your paper. Okay, so you have there on your module, these two pictures. Yung isa, uh, sinipa yung bola. Then, yung isa naman, nag-catch ng bola. Ano? So, you're just going to compare picture A from picture B. Then, just answer the guide questions. Which picture shows potential energy? Which picture shows kinetic energy? What factor or factors affect the potential energy? And 
what factor or factors affect kinetic energy? Ano daw yung mga factors na naka-apekto kay potential at kay kinetic energy? Sa so, dalawang picture na nandun, meron doong potential energy at meron doong isa na may kinetic energy. Although mass and velocity both have great effects on kinetic energy, it is velocity more significantly that determines kinetic energy. Of course, si velocity kasi, uh, pag sinabi natin velocity, of course, mayroong motion, may movement. At alam natin nga kapag may movement, that is kinetic energy. Again, ang sabi dito, mass and velocity both have great effects in kinetic energy, pero mas matindi ang epekto ni velocity. Ano? So, study, at the sam study the sample problem below. So, what is the kinetic energy of a 45 kilogram object moving at 13 meter per second? So, could you please try to calculate ano kaya ang kinetic energy daw ng 45 kilogram object moving at 13 meter per second? 45 kilogram is the mass, 13 meter per second is the velocity. Okay, so I want you to try to calculate ano kaya ang sagot dito without looking at your motion. Okay, so I'll give you time to calculate for this one. Okay, now let's compute the value of kinetic energy of a 45 kilogram object moving at 13 meter per second. We're going to follow the Gressa method given required equation, the solution, and the final answer or the answer. Gressa method. Okay, so let's proceed. Okay, screen right natin. So, let's have sobrang likot ng screen. Given 45 kilogram, that is the mass. 13 meter per second, that is the velocity. What is required? Kinetic energy siyang hinahanap. Ano naman ang ating kailangang uh, formula? So, that is kinetic energy is equal to 1 half mv squared. So, paano ang solution? Ke is equal to 1 half mv squared is equal to 1 half what is the mass? 45 kilogram lagyan natin ang parenthesis para hindi kayo mali dito then 13 meter per second quantity squared pasensya na po sa sulat talagang kagulo 45 kilogram copy lang 13 times 13 kasi may quantity squared dito 169 meter per second squared. Ito yung unit may squared, so that is also squared. Then, what is the result of 45 times 169? That is 7,605 unit kilogram unit meter per second squared. Divided by 2, kasi may 1 half siyang katabi. So, ang final answer natin ay 3,802 Point five kilogram meter per second or joules on unit. So that is the value of our kinetic energy. The final answer for this is 3,802.5 kilogram meter per second squared or joules. So I hope you understand this one. Uh, kahit medyo magulo ang sulat ko kasi ang hirap magsulat sa screen. Okay, so let's proceed. Discard natin. Okay, so that is for the example. So let's proceed for learning task number 3. Look at the things around you. List at least 5 examples of potential and kinetic energy. Write your answer in your paper. 5 examples of potential energy, then 5 examples of kinetic energy. Learning task number 4, determine if the given situation shows potential or kinetic energy, then calculate it using the formula given below. So, I have already given you the formula to be used for kinetic and potential energy. Ano? Kinetic energy is 1 half mv squared. Potential energy is mass times gravity times the height. Gravity or the acceleration due to gravity, so that is 9.8 meter per second squared. So, we're just going to first determine kung ang problem ba ay kinetic or potential energy. Then, saka kayo magde-decide kung anong formula ang inyong gagamitin. So, I have here a video clip, a video clip with uh, the ideas or the information about force, work, and energy. So, before we proceed by this one, so sana naintindihan yung lahat ng learning task with your week 3 lesson. 
so let's watch this video for you to understand uh, what is forced work and energy so paan sila nagka-relate relate sa isa't isa our topic for today is force work and energy hmm. Force is the push or pull applied on an object. It can move a stationary object or stop a moving object. Force can also change the speed and direction of a moving object. If enough force is applied, it can also change the shape or size of an object. Applied on an object, resulting in the movement of that object, work is said to be done. Work can be calculated using the formula work done is equal to force into distance. Ability or the capacity to do work is called energy. The food that we eat gives us energy to do various activities. Okay. For, uh, the video clip for force, work, and energy. So, thank you for listening, thank you for watching, and keep safe, everyone. Sana malinaw lahat about sa learning uh, task 1 to 5 for week 3 lesson for Science 8. Goodbye, and see you again next time.